morning, it's Tuesday the 13th of January 2015, I'm sitting on a bus up a mountain. Now normally that's not something to get excited about, but then not every bus goes to visit the Great Wall of China. When you think they started building it in the this bit in the 14th century, absolutely extraordinary wonder. Is it one of the seven wonders of the world? I think, I think it is. So, yeah. yeah. So, one of the cable car. I think half of us in, are enjoying this tremendously, <laughs> <laughs> and the other half is Liz. <laughs> you can see the smog pollution just hanging over even here, but the air does get a bit clearer as we go up. Can you see, look, 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 Can you see the wall and the turrets there? This is just going to be the most extraordinary experience. Lucky this cable car's here because it, otherwise it would have taken them years to get all these stones up to the top to build this thing. I'm very, very rarely speechless. <laughs> but I just feel utterly overawed by this. Just look at this. I'm not sure if it comes... I'm not sure if it comes off in the... A little video like this, but the uh, the just views are when you think how much it must have taken people to do this, and yeah. just unbelievable. Well, uh, this isn't going to be a long video <laughs> because I'm just speechless. The whole place has surprisingly just overwhelmed me, and I'm not quite sure why yet. But I've got an hour or two of walking to think about the just the enormity of this place and. Uh, and the effect that it's having on me. So, uh, better keep going. Stand up and get going. <sighs> oh, hell, some steep steps. If you look at this, you can see what a massive physical barrier it is, but far more than that, the wall represented a mental barrier. It's like, over here you're safe. You never know what's in here. Just don't try it guys. And I think that's uh, as much the truth as the physical deterrent. Is that you know what, we're putting down a marker. Don't even think about so it. So to the uh, geographically naive tourist like you, uh, me, um, this side of the wall looks an awful lot like this side of the wall. And the, actually the only way of telling which side is in and which side is out is these little cannons. Uh, and they're facing out. So. Uh, this can actually fire 150 metres, which is going to deter anyone from uh, even getting anywhere near the wall. Probably no wonder China hasn't changed a lot, to be honest, but we better not say that too loud. <sighs> wow, just taking a breather at the top of... Oh, you can't really see, but uh, you can't get a sense of how steep these ones are. But I'll tell you what, you've really, really, really want to... got to want to get in to get up this bit. I think the Chinese have, or had... An immigration policy that Nigel Farage would die for. Well, anyway, onwards and upwards. You have to be joking. Look at these. They are just almost vertical. This just be quite exciting. If you don't get a sense of it here, let me just walk up. So there's my leg against the step. You see the size of the step. Maybe you can't. That's my knee, and that's the top of the step. So that's how big these bad boys are. So I'm going to keep this on while I climb these. Just, just in case I ever find my black box, and I don't want to know what exactly it was that made my legs drop off. Oh my goodness! Here we go. As you can go, unless of course you see a sign like this. Um, I can't read Chinese, but I think that Chinese says. Welcome tourist, keep moving on, so I will, that's as far as I go but those of you with good eyesight will see that there's a little bit more to cover but I think I'm going to maybe do that bit this afternoon after some lunch or maybe. 
exhausted in a good way. I'll tell you what, this is absolutely the best Snickers I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I'm probably in a negative calorie situation. Other chocolate bars are available, but not many other walls of this stature. Anyway, enjoy yourself. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, magnificent though it was, it's time to get back down. And uh, we're not gonna go back down on cable car. We have a much more exciting mode of transport, the toboggan. <laughs> this should be amazing. Okay, here it goes. So this is kind of slow, right? It says push forward to go fast, pull back to break. So I'm just gonna kind of, I'm gonna let go. I'm being heckled. I'm actually being heckled from behind. Here we go, around the corner. Hello Beijing! He said lean into the corner. I'm leaning, I'm leaning. I've no idea what he just said. Well that was a day I'll remember for a long time. Um, I'm usually quite loquacious on these videos, but I genuinely, genuinely was so overwhelmed by the, the staggering nature of the thing that I uh, haven't got a lot to say. I hope this spoke for itself. Um, if you come back here, Here's a top tip, uh, bring lots of warm clothing and don't come in the summer, we've come in the winter and it's beautiful. Um, but just take your time and don't come if you've got a leg injury because if you haven't got one when you arrive, you might well have one when you leave. Nobody told me there were loads of steps here, duh. They built it miles from the airport, which I think was an oversight. And, and this is really annoying, they built it right up a flipping mountain. So uh, it's quite hard to access. However, if you would like some overpriced cheap tap, then there's also a load of great stores to come to. Um, uh, thank you for watching this video of my unforgettable trip to the Great Wall of China. Cheers.